Hello everyone, welcome to another Python tutorial series. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the Yosuna Engine 3D Python game engine. And this is going to be tutorial number 10, the button and the mouse. So first, let's import Yosuna. So from Yosuna, import star. And we can write app.run. And or app is equal to Yosuna. And then app.run. And this will just set up our Yosuna game. And now let's first create our button. So B is equal to a button with the color equal to color dot azure. So we're setting the color of the button right here. And when you hover, actually, I'm going to run this. I'm going to save and run the game. And here we have our button in the center. And you notice that when I hover my mouse over the button, the color changes. So initially it's uh, a little darker and when I hover my mouse over the button it becomes a little lighter. And because this is the button it's clickable so I can click the button and you see that there is a, a nice animation. But really nothing happens when you click it first. So we can add text to this button. Before you saw that there was no text so I'm going to quickly add some text. I'm going to add another parameter which is going to be text and I'm going to set the text equal to a button and so I can save and run this and we should see that there is text in the center of our button and I'm going to quickly change this to lowercase u okay so now we added the text and our color we can add another parameter and this is going to be the color of the text and this is going to be the text color and we could set this text color equal to color dot orange and you'll see that the color of this text now became orange. And so the default color for text is usually is white. And if you want to use a different color, all you need to do is add a parameter. Add this text color parameter to change the color. And so I'm going to I'm going to quickly change this to green. We could see that the color of the text changed to green. And you can try uh, different combinations at home to see how your text will look. And let's add another parameter. What if we want to make our text larger or smaller? Well, we'll add another parameter, which is going to be the scale. And I will set the scale equal to 0.25. So I'm going to run this. And you see that the button has now greatly reduced from that huge button now to 0.25 of that size. And so if you feel that the button's too big, you can make it smaller. If you feel that your button's too small, you can make it larger with this scale parameter. Now, let's say we want to, let's say the button is too boring and we want to add some decorations. Well, we can use an image with the icon parameter. So I'm going to set an icon parameter equal to, and I'm going to set it equal to a sword. So I will save and run this. And now here you see that I've set my icon to a sword. So there is a sword in the background. And here the sword is an image that comes with the Yersna installation. And you can also use your own image, just like the texture parameter we talked about before. So if you have your own image installed on your computer, then you can use that instead of this default um, image that comes with Yersna. And not only can we add this parameter icon, I can also set the origin of the text, so text origin. And I'm going to set this equal to 0 0.50. 0. I will save and run this. And you can see that the text has now moved to the right. And by default, the text on the button is at the center. And you can change that with the text origin parameter. And so it has two values, the x and y coordinates. And here I set the x to 0.5 and the y to 0. And this will just move the button 0.5 units to the right. And if I set this x to negative 0.5, you will see that it shifts the text to the left. And there you go. Now you see that this A button text is now to the left of the button. And so far, when we click the button, nothing really happens yet. So let's do something so that when we click the button, something happens. So for example, let's 
change the color of the button every single time we click it. In order to do this, we have to add a, or well, I'm going to create a function up here, which is define colors. Define colors. I'm going to set the button's color, so b.color equal to color dot random color. And now, every single time the button is clicked, I'm going to do b dot the button dot on click equals colors. So here we create the colors function up here, and then we use the uh, on click command to call the function. So every time the button is clicked, the colors function is called, and the button will change to a random color. So I'm going to click this once. You see that's changed to a brownish orange color. Click it again. That's a green. Uh, this is a dark blue or black. And I'm going to keep clicking. You'll see that the color changes every single time. And this is a random color. So let's say uh, here we want to print hello onto the screen in a random position every single time we click the button. Well, now what we could do is create another function that is define print text and so whenever I click this button and I want to change the position of the text hello then I also want to uh, set the position as a random position and in order to do this I need to import the random module so from random import randint and now inside of this function I'll need to print on the screen hello with the position equal to and then here we're going to have um, two parameters the x and the y and the x is going to be a random integer so rand int from negative 3 to 3 multiplied by 0.1 and the y coordinate is going to be a random integer from negative 3 to 3 also multiplied by 0.1 one. So I will save this. And here we import the random module. We create the print text function. And so every single time the button is clicked, the function will be called and the string hello will be printed in a random position onto the screen. And in order to do this, we need to set this actually. Instead of colors, should be equal to print text. I will save and run this. Click the button. You see hello is up there. Now you see that the word hello is at a random position on the screen. And so I can keep clicking this and you'll see that hello just keeps spawning randomly. Alright. So we can also add a tooltip so that when you hover your mouse on the button, it will display click me. And when you hover your mouse off, it will just disappear. So in order to do this, we can write b dot tool tip, and b again is the uh, name of, of this button. Uh, so b dot tool tip is equal to tool tip, tool tip, and then whatever text. And for me, I'm gonna have the string click me. So when I hover over the button, the string click me is going to be shown. I'm going to run this, and when I hover over the button, you'll see that there is indeed click me um, on the screen. And of course, you could change this text to whatever you like. Uh, maybe you want to click here. You could change that. And now it displays click here. And let's say you want to hide the cursor, How hide the mouse cursor. Well, to simply do that, I will write mouse.visible equal to false. And so when I write mouse.visible is equal to false, whenever uh, you see that my mouse is now invisible, so you cannot see the cursor of my mouse. But when I hover over the button, you'll see that it is the mouse is still there, except you cannot see the cursor. So I can click. You see that hello is 
being printed onto the screen. You see that click here is shown when I'm hovering over the button. And yeah. So this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.